Ooh boy, what's happening today? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's Dark Shot the Poisoner here, bringing you some more. Let's play Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. In the last episode, we went through um, a cutscene with Celia Fortner, and she told us that she wanted to kill us, but not right now. So, contrary to that uh, statement, um, I might just go and get myself killed right here against this <laughs> boss. Alright. Time to have at him. Our first um, kind of boss in the game. Alright, let me see if I can beat him. Sometimes he can just be a real douchebag. And like that attack, and he does a punch upward. And like this attack, he does the same kind of punch, but bigger, I guess. I don't know. And he'll do a straight punch, and he'll do another straight punch. You can actually jump on top of his fist, it's helpful. And then his last attack. On the floor and the laser. Yeah, he's very original with those attacks. He didn't copy that from uh, Perfect Cell at all. Duck! And, uh, yeah, Imperfect Cell. My brother corrected me. And his second straight punch. You can actually jump over both those straight punches. Um, his, um, his, uh, his giant beam attack will actually kill you in one hit. So beware of that. Um, 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 listen to me. Um, all around. I'm just, I'm just umming all over the place here. Ooh. Once your health gets down to halfway, uh, I suggest just using a potion. Because I think that maybe it's possible to survive getting hit by the laser. By like a little tiny margin. But it's unlikely. I just like staying like next to his face. Because um, even if he does use the... Uh, why do I keep going to that screen? Even if he does use the uh, fist attack, it's not that bad. It's better than his... You can dodge the fist attack by just going out there, so... Apparently he's getting smarter. Oh, goodness. Oh, whoa! Two straight punches right in a row. I'm getting my ass handed to me. What's going on here? Oh, my God. Can I please dodge something? That'd be awesome. There we go. We dodged something. Hey, don't don't land on top of his fist. That's not what I wanted. Oh, here we go. And we have to draw the magic seal. Did I get it? No, shit, I didn't. Okay, there we got the magic seal. I actually didn't draw it right the first time. Woohoo, way to go me. God. This game is ten times harder using a mouse. Okay, and then he gives us the Belor power. His name is Belor? Sounds like a chick's name. Anyway, it gives us the ability to break these pieces of crap. And this is why this game gets insanely hard when you're trying to play it on an emulator like I am. Don't worry, I own it on DS, so it's not that illegal. Um, but yeah, it, I gotta switch my hands around, so now I'm actually navigating with my left hand, even though I normally navigate with my right and use my mouse with my right, and, and now I have to switch back when I'm playing normally. I guess we can go save, can't we? Why not? Why not? Um, yeah, it just gets really hard, and you'll see why, um, when we try to get out of this stupid area. But before we do that, we have to do a little bit of soul grinding. Not on this guy, we already have this guy's soul. This guy is lame sauce, he just spits some rocks, puking them all out. Dude, he can't, he, he definitely can't hold his rocks. Um... Speaking of holding rocks, I'm kind of hungry now. There we go. Alright. Um, I guess here's a bomber armor. Oh, uh, bomber armor, armor, ran. Bomber man. Bomber man generation. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. I leveled up. Go figure. Um, we're going to soul grind on this guy for a while. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, that didn't take too long. I have the bomber armor power, and I'm ready to go. Um, sounding a little disappointed, though, because uh, we have to soul grind for another power. Well, we don't really have to. It's just that I want to get the uh, manticore power, which is that tail thing I was talking about in another episode. Um, it's really useful, but uh, he has a really low chance of dropping it, so we're going to be 
fighting a manticore a bunch of times. He only takes three hits, just about the same as a bomber armor too, so. Anyway, there's that room with a crap ton of manticores right over here. Fun, fun, fun. And uh, I'm going to beat the crap out of this guy a bunch of times, and I'll be right back. Yes, I got it. Okay, so the manticore power says grow a tail, which is pretty sweet. And I forgot to mention forgot to mention that um, while I was fighting the bomber armor, I also picked up another breastplate. Uh, he dropped a breastplate, and I picked that up. I might sell it sometime. And um, the manticore also dropped some spaghetti. It's also it's a very good um, health refill. And I leveled up twice while fighting the manticore too. So just thought I might update you on that. Um, here we go. We want to we want to equip the uh, manticore soul, don't we? Of course we do. We want to test. We want to test drive this crap. Look at that. Okay, and then whenever you attack, it attacks with you. It's pretty sweet. Um, and it doesn't consume a lot of TP either. Uh, even for even for being uh, this early in the game, it's a really good power. We'll uh, there's some um, there's some like uh, improvements you can get for it. I guess you could say it's not really an improvement, but what it really it's just powers that are like it but they're kind of better like th like this one's just grow a normal tail there are other ones where it's like grow a tail that poisons people or grow a tail that paralyzes people they're pretty sweet um, we're going up here to leave the wizardry lab surprisingly after all this soul grinding and crap and hey smack enemies with with quick straight punches that's not a very good power it does quite a bit of damage but it's so close range that it's not worth it. And here we've come upon the room that is my bane, because it requires lots of dexterity with the mouse and the keypad, so... Here goes nothing. Uh... I should be able to duck everything. Duck, duck, duck. Yes! Duck, duck, goose! Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um... We'll be coming back to this room later to explore a hidden passage, but I didn't want to do that right now because I'm, I don't have the power I need. Uh, yeah, let's go through. Let's see what's going on in this room over here. OMG, a new, a whole new world. Oh, speaking of singing, oh crap. Uh. The reason I haven't been updating so much, or I, ha I won't be updating for like the next month and a half, is because I'm in the musical at my school. You know, I was debating, oh, should I, uh, should I be in the musical, which will take a big chunk out of my time for Let's Playing, um, or should I, uh, or should I just keep Let's Playing and do what I normally do? And I decided, you know what, heck, I'll do it, I'll just be in the musical and do Let's Plays at the same time. Because I'm a good person. So I'm going to save real quick, and I'm going to see if I can fit this into the end of the episode. I'm not quite sure how much time I have left, because this is split into, like, three separate parts that I'm going to piece together. To, to I can talk, jeez. Together. Um, yeah, I don't know my time limit. I don't know what's going on. I am blind. And this tree ant should only take four hits, but he took five. What's up with that? But hey, look at that. A magic seal! It's more magic seals that I draw in my notebook. Pastimes. Favorite pastime activity. Yes, and we're in the Garden of Madness warp point finally. We can warp back to the Lost Village. Yeah, I can't really talk because I'm tired. And it's like 11 o'clock at night, which is late for me. Thank you very much. I tend to go to bed at a decent time. We'll see if we can fit this in here, though. I'm going to run down and talk to this lady. Hi, Soma. I don't care what you have to say. I just want to synthesize my blunt sword into a katana. Katana was creative, or crafted. Um, and then what we have to need get next is the mini devil, and most of these we can't get until later in the game, most of these powers. But... Anyway, uh, I think that's all we can do for now. I think we've hit the time limit. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys all later.